Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Technically, USB drives don't have their own recycle bin, so restoring permanently deleted files definitely requires a recovery tool. In this video, I will show you the simplest method to recover files from your USB drive to your computer. Let's go. Even when you permanently delete files on your computer or storage device, they aren't actually erased completely, leaving behind some temporary data that can be recovered with a special tool. Personally, I'd like to recommend iMyPhone DBAC for Windows data recovery. If you're on a Mac, a separate version is also available for download. Not only can DBAC recover data from a variety of storage devices, such as internal and external PC drives, SD cards, USB disks, cameras, and more, but it can also restore various file types including photos, videos, and documents. Although the recovery process is limited to the software's pro version, there's a free trial that allows you to scan your selected storage for deleted files without paying for the program yet. Click the tag in the top right corner or find the link below to download it for free. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Once DBAC is installed on your computer, navigate to the PC and Hard Drive Recovery tab on the dashboard. Next, select the specific storage location where you want to recover your deleted data. For external devices, such as USB flash drives, be sure to connect them to your PC and choose the corresponding storage in the External Devices panel. The program will automatically start scanning for recoverable files. You can choose between the two available view modes to conveniently display each recovered file. In file type mode, all data is grouped according to its file format. On the other hand, the file path display allows you to navigate the specific routes where the recovered files were originally stored. Depending on the file size of the recoverable data in the selected storage, Note that the scanning process may take a while. While processing, you can pause and resume progress, or stop the scan altogether if the file you're looking for has already been found. To restore your files, select each one from the list and click the Recover button to proceed. Choose the location where you want to save the recovered data and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Please note that DBAC strongly advises its users not to restore the files to the original location where they were deleted or lost. Once the recovery is complete, your file should be restored to the folder you selected. That's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!